Diesel Creek. If you don't know, my name's Matt. This morning, we have got ourselves loaded up into the International 10 ton here and banging some gears down the road. We are gonna go haul some firewood this morning. Now, that might sound like a typical homeowner mundane task, but uh, you add the little Diesel Creek twist to it and it becomes a fun little heavy equipment operation. Anyways, I'll see you at the farm. I just pulled in out here at the farm, undoing the gate. I get some comments every once in a while. Why do you call it a farm when you don't see any animals out there? What do you reckon all them little black things over there with four legs are? Mmm, stay. the crows. Those are blackbirds. Tons of them. Holy cow. So anyways, I think I got all my chess pieces just about to be in play here. We are working alongside the shipping container shop today and if you're interested in that build there's a whole playlist on it. I'll try to drop it down in the description if I remember. Anyhow we're gonna use our dirty sloppy hoe here to pick up some of these uh, logs and load them into the dump truck. I use firewood as bargaining chips for all my neighbors that help me out in different ways. I like to uh, horse trade. And a lot of people in our area use firewood to heat their houses. Anyways, this pile of firewood has been sitting here for going on three years now. Uh, and all the wood came from right here where I cleared to build the shop at. And currently that firewood pile is in my way because I'd like to put a lean-to off of this building to store some of my uh, projects under. And if I do that, then I won't be able to get around the building on this side. So we'll get rid of that pile of firewood there and that should give me a pretty good amount of room. And in the process, we'll get to help a neighbor out, get him some wood. He can be able to cut down on his heat bills over the winter. This firewood should be all nice and seasoned since it's been sitting here so long. A lot of cherry in there, a lot of maple. And I think a little bit of oak and a giant block of concrete for whatever reason. Anyway, let's start sorting through this mess and uh, load up the old dump truck. So rather than pull a measuring tape and figure out how long a log we need every time and cut it off and then load it, I just stab them into the truck at full length and then I'll come back with a chainsaw and whack them all off right about where I want them. I'm not saying it's the right process, but it's my process.
yokes are too big for me to even lift, so we gotta whack them up. If it ain't one thing, it's 10 more. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little dark in there, but I blew a pilot line off. Now, the good thing about blowing a pilot line off is you don't lose a whole lot of fluid, so that's good. Uh, the bad thing about blowing a pilot line, though, and if you don't know, the pilot lines are what run from your joysticks in the machine down into the valve bodies, and those actually actuate the bigger valves think of them as like a relay in an electrical system anyways the bad thing about blowing one of those pilot lines is they are quite an adventure to change a lot of times so i'm about to start tearing into this thing and seeing how bad it's going to be but i can tell that line runs down and underneath the cab there and probably up into the armrest somehow so i think we're going to end up pulling the belly pan and hopefully we can get into the joystick somehow without getting too deep into it all right well i don't have a ton of tools with me but i do have my little bag of tricks that i carry in the dump truck hopefully we can knock this belly pan out of here and kind of take a peek up in there and see what we can see hopefully i can get this line off of here and take it with me i'll take what we have on the truck which is like three quarters of a load anyway so i'll take that load in with the line with me hopefully i can get the line made in town and then come back and this isn't just a waste of a day these little setbacks like this when you're working by yourself are so detrimental, I mean, to production. You can't get anything done. Oh, making me miss my Dewalt. Yeah, so 
here's the can of worms that we're getting into with our dirty old hoe here. You see this stuff here? This is the outer coating of all of the pilot lines that are up underneath the machine here that run all the different functions. So there's a line, there's a line for each individual motion on the controller. Now, when you get in here, you're probably gonna see the coating has fallen off all these lines. They're all in about the same shape as that one that just blew. Now, I'm sure a lot of you will say, well, that means you should replace all of them. Not gonna argue that. That would be a great route to go. The trouble is, it's not just the pilot lines. Every single line on this machine is in about the same shape. And to replace every single line on this machine is almost what this machine is worth. So it, it, it's really just a, a matter of time. You, you can't justify replacing them all right now. Some of these hoses that look rough will go on for years and years and never give you any trouble. But, you know, some of them that look like they're not that bad, like this pilot line just snapped right off at the furl. So it, it's a it's a game. And it's not worth replacing all the lines. You can't justify it financially for a machine of this age and condition. Because it's not just the lines either. There's all the pivots in this machine, not all of them, but a lot of them are really loose and they need some love. The tracks on it, the undercarriage, it, it all needs upgraded. And then it's to a point where the machine is not worth putting that kind of money into. You would actually be better off to probably sell the thing and go buy a newer one with less issues and some more time left on all these parts. All right, so here we are underneath the machine and you can see exactly what I was saying. This is all just falling off of here. And these are all pilot lines. And they are everywhere. So the challenge right now is that we need to find which one is blown and pull it out of the loom and replace it. Now, as usual, I'm working by myself, so it's going to be pretty tough to figure out which line is over on the other side of the machine busted off. So you guys got to be my eyes and ears, and you guys just holler when you see the line moving. I'm going to try to shove it through as best I can. Oh, I think I see which one it is. This is one of the few times recording everything has its advantages. I was able to fairly easily go back in the playback and see that that was our broken line. Now I need to track down the other end of it. All right, I tracked it down. Surprisingly and luckily not all that hard to get to. It's not a picnic either but it's the upper line right here. It's a little dark, you guys can't see. Hopefully I got a wrench I can get on that thing and take it off. <laughs> well, I got smart, I just dropped the valve block down here and I was actually able to get a wrench on it pretty easy and we just got it loose. Ah, sometimes even when things go bad, they don't go that bad. I count my blessings there at least. <clears throat> that could have been quite a job. All right, let's go see if the parts store can't make me one of these guys. Well, we're ready to run to town, but I still got to buck off all the stuff that's hanging over real far. Let's take care of that right now. Go to town and make a hydraulic line. Ah. Well, just got back from town, got the new hose here. Let's try and get this thing thrown on and salvage what's left of our day.
right, hopefully that's fixed. Let's try this thing out. up our tools and finally get this stinking firewood out of here. died in the middle of loading but we got about as much on here as we can muster probably quite a bit more than we can muster and as much as I would love to just go sailing down the road with all this hanging out here and it would probably make it we better cut her off Good little jag of wood. I don't know what happened. These couple here just kind of flopped off the side at the last second, but all ended well. <sighs> well, back out of the farm. We got one left, one left, one load left to haul, and I think that will just about take care of our pile. This load is gonna be for a different neighbor. This is the guy that helped me do the electrical in the building here. So, gotta help him out, we'll give him a load of firewood. He doesn't burn in his house, but he burns and heats the garage for when we're uh, drinking beer down there on the weekends. So, let's get this loaded up and then uh, get two birds stoned at once.
Well, here's where I get to tell you about my mistakes in life. I accidentally left the GoPro in time-lapse mode when I uh, did my little outro here. So basically what I was saying is that we were going to haul that truck down the road and dump it off and uh, crack a cold one. And all the little twigs and small pieces of log left on the ground were just going to be bonfire material to uh, burn up some stumps. I guess I would call this a job well done, even though the hoe did uh, take a crap on us. We were able to get that hose replaced fairly easily and fairly inexpensively. I think that hose was $83, and in the world of hydraulic hoses, that's not too awful bad. Everybody keeps asking me about the Galleon Grader Christine, and the Jeep CJ5, and the auto car, and the church, and every other project that I have open in the books and not finished. And all I can tell you guys is they are coming. I am working on a lot of things. I, I like to have enough to make a good video before I put it out. So it, sometimes it takes a while. The church, we are planning on starting again here sometime in November. And then working on it through the winter. And that's all I can really tell you on that right now. Anyways, I guess that about wraps this one up. Don't forget guys, if you're looking for any sweet Diesel Creek merch, you can head over to the store at dieselcreek.com and get you some sweet merchandise over there. If you would guys, do me a big old favor and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you a dime. Lastly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can catch you on the next video. As always guys, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Later.